I wanted to reflect a bit on some things I wish I'd known when first starting out with Blender a few years ago. Maybe my experience can help prepare new Blender users for the journey ahead. First up, when I first started using Blender, I had no idea just how incredibly versatile and powerful it is. I thought it was mainly a 3D modeling program, but oh man, it can do so much more. Blender covers pretty much the entire 3D content creation pipeline. Modeling, rigging, animation, simulations, rendering, compositing, motion tracking, and even video editing and sculpting. It's an all-in-one powerhouse. Now I won't pretend Blender is at all easy to learn, especially if you're a complete beginner like I was. It took me weeks of dedication to get comfortable with the interface and workflows. Don't expect to master it overnight. But once it clicks, you'll realize Blender can handle any 3D, 2D, or VFX task you throw at it. I'm constantly impressed by what creative people are making with Blender. In fact, the Indian VFX studio Makuta just used Blender for hundreds of shots in the hit movie RRR. They leveraged it for asset creation, animation, and final rendering thanks to its flexibility. Super inspiring. So while the learning curve is steep, I promise you the effort is worth it. Blender will prove itself as an invaluable Swiss army knife for all your 3D content creation needs. Just be patient with yourself starting out. I totally remember feeling overwhelmed by all the new 3D concepts when I started with Blender. All the terms and tools just sounded so intimidating as a beginner. Even now, after using Blender for a while, there are still moments when I come across some new feature and have to stop and look up what it means. So don't feel bad if you're confused at first. It's completely normal. My advice is, don't rush into complex projects right away. Before you try making intricate spaceships and Iron Man suits, take time to learn the interface, hotkeys, basic modeling, and texturing workflow. Those basics are so key. If you're just starting out, I highly recommend checking out the Introduction to Blender for Absolute Beginners, video series by Crossmind Studio. It covers all the core concepts you need to get up and running in Blender. Trust me, once you have those fundamentals down, the more advanced tools and workflows will feel much more approachable. Be patient with yourself and start simple. You'll be mastering complex scenes before you know it. So if you're just getting started with Blender, do yourself a favor and learn these key shortcuts ASAP. Seriously, memorize them. It will help you work way faster and more efficiently in Blender. They eliminate so many tedious clicks. I facepalm thinking about all the time I lost not knowing them at first. Don't make my mistake. Put in the effort early on to practice the most useful Blender shortcuts. It'll speed up your workflow and let you focus on the fun creative stuff. I promise you won't regret it. You can download free Blender shortcuts through the link in the description. While Blender is incredibly powerful and can create complex 3D models, all that functionality comes at the price of a steep learning curve. Especially as a beginner, it can feel slow and unintuitive to use until you get the hang of things. But honestly, those frustrations are totally normal in the early stages of learning any complex new skill. It's like when you're first learning to drive, you're probably going to stall out and crash a bunch at first. But with enough practice, it'll become second nature. If you ever feel stuck or confused when using Blender, remember there's an amazing community ready to help. You can find tons of tutorials and helpful forums online, don't struggle alone. The key is being patient and persistent through the tough learning phase. Before you know it, you'll have mastered all the basics and Blender will feel smooth as butter. In the meantime, definitely embrace those moments of crashing and burning. It's all part of the journey to becoming a Blender expert. Let me know if any learning tips have helped you power through the frustrating times. The key is learning when to take a step back and look at what actually matters for the model you're making. It's about working smart, not hard. As much as my perfectionist tendencies want to refine every last thing, I've realized it's better to focus my effort on the most important elements, spend less time on stuff that doesn't move the needle. Trust me, it's made my Blender workflow so much smoother since I stopped sweating the small stuff. Now I only detail areas that actually impact the final render, so don't make my early mistake of obsessing over details. Prioritize the key things that fit your vision. Just some friendly advice to help you work efficiently as a Blender newbie. The Blender community is so active and willing to help newcomers. Whether you have a beginner question or just wanted feedback on a project, there was always someone to lend a hand. Having that support accelerates your learning and growth so much. You feel less alone, puzzling through complex concepts. Plus, you learn way faster by seeing others' workflows. So if you're just getting started with Blender, I highly recommend plugging into the community right away. Check out Blender Nation, Blender Artists Forum, Blender Secrets Facebook group. Connect with your fellow Blender heads. Don't struggle in isolation like I did at first. Take advantage of the awesome collaborative spirit of the Blender community.
Overall, Blender is an incredibly powerful and complex program, no doubt about it. Mastering it takes time, effort, and commitment, but the payoff is so worth it. Imagine how awesome it will feel to be a Blender Pro, creating mind-blowing 3D art. The journey getting there might be challenging, but hang in there. With each skill you build, you'll come to love this software more and more. So embrace the constant changes and improvements to Blender. They make it an even more versatile creative tool. And who knows, you may even get involved in shaping its future. Don't forget to check the links to download the free Blender shortcuts in the description below. Thanks for watching.